Hey gang, Dmart95 here, about ready to do a build with a Tata 180cc with, a, actually it's not a 180, it's got a 63mm piston, normally makes it a 180, but this one's also got a 3mm crank, stroker crank, gonna bring this total cc's up to like 190 or something, one... I don't know, I think it's 189 or 190, somewhere around that. But I'm building this for my buddy RCQ, and I thought I'd make a video of the build. This is the Tata short case kit. Um, super powerful motor, but when you get it, the block comes completely bare. This is how you always know you got a Tata block. See the logo right there? It's been cut open to... Uh, accommodate the larger piston this is very very nice casting there's no extra flashing anywhere Tata makes some really really nice stuff so anyways this will be going on a BMS heritage first thing you got to do is you got to get all your bushings bearings and seals installed I've already got one installed but then I got to thinking about it hey you know a lot of people might not know how to install the bushings so I figured I'd make a video showing how to install all the bushings, bearings, and uh, seals. So let me get it set up. I'll show you how we do this. All right, here's the tool we'll be using. These three components. Basically is what you're gonna do is, this is gonna be through there like that, or like that. This is gonna go like that. It's threaded, and as you thread it down, it's going to sm smash the uh, bushing in there, or press it in, I guess you'd say. But I'll show you how you get that set up. Step one, grab your bushing. Notice this is kind of rounded on this side. This side's flat. You're always going to put your flat side over here on your flat side. This is your opening. That way you know when you're bushing, because this will actually come through. So, it just goes on there like so. I hope this is showing up in the video correctly. And then, you just, ah, tighten her on down. So, right now, I'm just getting it lined up. Make sure, make sure the bushing's going in straight. This is really hard on the, uh, because I'm trying to stay out of the line of sight of the camera. So anyways, that's all you do. And as you see, you can see in here, so when you reach, or pull the, your bushing in, it's going to, uh, you'll see when you have to stop. That's the whole point of this cutout. So, alright, now that you got the bushing in there, just put your socket on there see it going in and that's it all right once you get it tightened down to where it's got to be all you do just uh, turn it the opposite way and it comes right off Alright, be right back. And there you go. There's what it looks like with your bushing installed. So, I'll go over here and go on to my next one. And here's the bushing and the left crankcase. Or the right side crankcase. Or no, this is the left. So it's pretty easy if you got the right tools to insert these bushings. You can also do it with a bolt and some washers and a heavy duty nut. A heavy duty bolt and nut and some washers. But I like to use the right tool for the right job. So now we need to install our bearings. So let's do that. Alright. 
To install the bearings is what you're going to need is a shop press. This is a 20 ton shop press right here. And basically, there's a few ways of going about doing this. But it's what I like to do. Get a socket that matches, you have to match the outer perimeter. Take note, these are all TPI bearings, top of the line. TPI bearings are the best you can get. But anyways, see how those made up perfectly? Get a nice heavy duty socket like this and you'll be able to press it down into the uh, race. This is called your race, that little circle that it goes into. So, get them lined up. Let me, let me get it all lined up and show you how this works. All right, so you get your press lined up on your socket and you get a little bit of pressure and you pay close attention and just start sinking it in. See how that goes in? And you just sink it down until you feel resistance on your press. And that's it. You feel it. So, that's how you install the bearings. And then, you just simply take the pressure off. Zoop. And, there you go. There's your bearing installed. Pretty simple to install the bearings. You just got to have the right, again, this goes back to the proper tools. Got to have the proper tools to do your bushings. Got to have the proper tools to do your bearings. And when we get to the seals, got to have proper tools to do your seals. So let me go on to these next one. And here's the next one. And here we go. Here's the final seal that's put in, put in there. This one, you, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it in there. There's a little notch down in there. You have to get this one down past that. You have to get it flush on this side. So this one's a little more trickier to do. But really, you just push it down in there. So anyways, so now we got the bushings and the bearings. Now let's go get some seals mounted in this bad boy. All right, now here we go. My customer, RCQ, he requested that I install Viton uh, seals throughout the whole entire motor. So, in order to install the seals, is what I like to do. I like to get a little bit of assembly lube. Here, I'll show you what that looks like. This right here, engine assembly lube. Just get a little bit. Grease, I've already done it, but grease up the inside of there. You don't need much and then just put your seal in there and press it in and then sometimes they're really tight and you'll need to get a seal driver but when you stick your crankshaft through there it's gonna expand that hole and that's where your pressure is created you don't really need a seal driver to install these seals and there you go. I got to get it a little more flush. Just use your thumb. Make sure it's good. And, see? Completely flush all the way around. And then just wipe off any excess you have. This is the inside of your CVT area. You don't want grease in there. This side doesn't matter. But, uh, and that's it. That's really all there is to installing the seals. You know, there, it's not much to it. Like I said, sometimes you need a seal driver, especially on these bigger transmission ones. But the pressure is created when, when the rod's sticking through there. When it's like this, they're pretty easy to get in there. Same thing with this one. So what you're going to do, just put a little bit of assembly lube in there. 
See, you always want to use assembly lube and not grease because it breaks down when the engine's fired up. This will break down in your oil. Grease will not. Grease can clump up and clog your ports and all kinds of stuff. You can, you know, if you want to learn about building these engines, hit my forum up at uh, www.dansgaragestalk.com. All kinds of good information there. Lots of people there that really, really know the ins and outs of engine building. This one, I'm going to need the seal driver probably to get down in there. Or maybe not. Be right back in just one second. Okay. So you can see down in there, nice, good, tight seal. There's a little bit of assembly lube in there. RCQ is going to be real geeked about this engine. This is really, really nice stuff. This is top of the line, guys and girls. When it comes to Tata products, you simply cannot go wrong. Tata is absolute top of the line. So, the engine's prepped. We got the seals, bearings, bushings, and that's really it to prepping the block. Now we're going to have to move on to assembling the two sides of the crank the crank shaft or crank cases and we'll put the stroker crank in there he's got a plus three stroker crank how awesome is that this thing's going to be a torque monster so anyways uh we'll continue on with that with the internals of the build on our next video this video was just about bushings bearings and uh your seals so anyways guys and gals this is dmartin95 from uh dansgaragetalk.com if you need to buy any tata products visit my store at shop.martinmopeds.com we're going to be stocking tata's entire lineup for the gy6 150 and the 50 cc and we're going to have pretty good deals on all this stuff when we first launch our store here in a few weeks so anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think RCQ really will. This is RCQ's 180cc Tata build. And this is D-Mart95. Ah, D I'm out, guys and girls. Thanks for watching.